are we doing today? Can I offer you a menu? No, thank you. Well, all right. Could I offer you a cup of Sunnyside's best coffee? No, thank you. Okay. Well, if you don't mind me asking, if you ain't going to order nothing, why'd you come in here? Sir, I'm going to be real honest with you. I ain't here for the coffee, bacon, eggs, or anything you have on your menu. Now, let me ask, have you heard of a man by the name of Orlando White? No. Never heard of him. Mr. Watt is a very wanted individual who has a price of $25,000 on his head. Now, can you even begin to think what a person would have to do in order to be worth that much? He murdered a family of five in cold blood a few blocks down that way. Christ, I've never heard of this man in my life. And see, I got word that Mr. White would be coming down to your place of business about one in the afternoon. And when he does, I'll be sitting here waiting to put a bullet right through his head. Then I'll drag his body down to the station and collect my 25000 Wow. Sounds like you got it all planned out. That's the man right there. I ought to say... You wearing that mask makes me awfully uncomfortable. Goodness, you're a woman. My name is Abigail Valentine. Well, Abigail Valentine, I think it's time for me to be honest with you. I don't feel real comfortable you blowing a man's head off in my place of business. Just doesn't look real good on my end. Well, frankly, sir, I'm gonna have to say fuck you. Listen. You got your business and I got a family to feed. Mr. White will be dead and out of your door in a matter of minutes. And when I'm done, I'll even come back and mop up the blood on your floor. But I will say this. If you do intend to stand in my way of taking this mighty criminal down, I wouldn't hesitate at the thought of taking you down with me. Holy shit. Is that Mrs. Valentine I see? William Berkshire. I used to work with your husband down at the factory on Lincoln. My apologies if I startled you. It's okay. Buster, how are we? I'm okay. You doing all right, Bill? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. Now, Miss Valentine, I couldn't help but overhear what y'all were talking about. Did you say that that Orlando guy's worth $25,000? That's what the woman said. Damn. Can't imagine what it'd be like to have that amount of money. It sure be nice. Now, Mrs. Valentine, did you say that you were going to plan on taking this man out? I do intend to, yes. Why don't you come on over here and join me at this table? And Buster, if you could, could you bring me out two cups of that delicious coffee of yours? Sure thing. Thank you. <sighs> Mrs. Valentine. I pulled you aside to discuss your vicious plans for taking out Orlando White. It's not something that's up for discussion. I figured you'd say that, but I'm still going to allow you the opportunity to hear my proposal. I say we're both sitting right here. When he comes walking through that door, we both shoot him in the head, and we both drag his body all the way down to the station. You and me split the money 50-50, both ways. Like I just said, it's not up for discussion, so I suggest you fuck off. Thanks, Buster. You know my husband died six months ago? I got three children at home that need fed. I don't have the freedom to share my money with anyone else but myself and my children. Mrs. Valentine, I got a sick mother at home. She can't even walk on her own. Hell, she don't even remember what she did ten minutes ago. We all have our sob stories. Truth is, nobody actually gives a fuck. Now look, I didn't plan on getting in any type of argument with a woman in a breakfast cafe on this gorgeous Sunday afternoon. But so help me God, 
you turn down my offer one more time. You nor your kids will get a lick of that money. Mr. Berkshire, is it? I came here today with peace and aggression. I planned on showing my peace to the innocent people in this cafe and planned to unleash my aggression on Orlando White. But then you show up and you interrupt my plans. And I don't like it when people interrupt my plans, Mr. Berkshire. You keep getting closer and closer to that gun on your hip. As the kind person I am, I will inform you that if you grab that gun, it will not be good for you. I mean, how embarrassing would it be for your family to read in the paper that you were killed by a woman? Don't shoot me. He pulled the gun first. I was just defending myself. No need to question me on that. Woman, I don't give a shit who you are or what your plans are with Orlando White. You need to get the fuck out of my cafe. Wait, did you just say Orlando White? Shit. I think he has about $10,000 on his head. It's $25,000, goddammit, and I will be the only one collecting that money when he walks through this door. So you gentlemen either take a seat or get the hell out. If you don't get the hell out of my cafe right now, I won't hesitate to kill you. Yeah, who's to say us three don't kill you and take that money ourselves? Sir, I came into your place of business today to take out a really bad man for some money. I do not want to cause you or any of your customers any harm. I think she's bullshitting you, sir. Yeah, maybe she is Orlando White. Will you two shut the fuck up? I am not Orlando White. My name is Abigail Valentine. I don't live far from here. I just wanted to take out a bad man for some money. Now, sir, please put the gun down. I ain't put shit down till you get the hell out of here. What are your guys' names? I'm Donnie, and this is Rick. Look, Donnie, Rick, if you shoot this man over there, I'll split the money with you both. I swear to God. She's lying. Come on, boys. I know that 25000 has to seem quite gorgeous to you. You boys raise one gun, and I'll shoot you. It's gonna be okay, buddy. Oh, that bitch better give us a share of the money. Now you're gonna share that money with us? I sure am. No doubt in the world about it. Now lower your gun, okay? Mr. White will be here any minute. How much of it are you gonna give us? I was thinking we'd all split it evenly three ways. That cool? Rick, that all right with you, buddy? Rick? Rick? Rick! Rick! Rick, come on, buddy. It's gonna be okay. Fuck. I think he's dead. Donnie, hey, look at me. We all just need to calm down, okay? You and me, we are A-okay, all right? Donnie, tell me that we're A-okay. We're A-okay. Good. Now I need you to stay there and keep an eye out if you see anything, okay? Holy shit, I think I see someone. Who? Is it him? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe. Mm, I'm not sure. Well, what's he wearing? What's he wearing? Like, clothing-wise? Yes, clothing-wise. Well, I know he's got a long black suit on and a, a, a beautiful hat. Donnie. That's my 25,000. Fuck you, bitch! Thank <laughs> you.